Oh baby. Oh man. So this is actually my second attempt at filming an unboxing of this thing. I first attempt I did not um, redo the sound settings and everything basically came out extremely quiet. So this is my second attempt at trying to unbox this thing but Hopefully I can sort of give out the same emotions because right now I'm actually kind of angry. So I guess let's just get right into it. I just have to say right now this thing is quite heavy. So like no joke, this thing has to be at least like 40 pounds. Actually no, maybe like, maybe like 20 pounds. But yeah, so if we open this thing up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wait. And look at this, it gives you like little instructions right here on how to open the freaking thing. Well, probably because they know a bunch of little kids are gonna be trying to get this thing open. Okay, we're gonna set this down, hopefully without breaking the box. Uh, how did I know that would happen? Open this thing up. Again, guys, I'm very angry. Um, so we got our cables, which aren't wrapped up in their little twist ties, but we have our HDMI, which I assume is an HDMI 2. Our power cord, literally the same exact power cord that has been used for years. Um, let's see, in this we have our all our info and whatnot, quick start guide, um, like safety, warranty stuff. Um, in this other compartment up we have, so this is the stand. Now, I don't know if I'd really need this because I never set my consoles down horizontally. I just don't think they look very nice when placed horizontally. Um, so yeah, I'll just be standing this thing up. So I don't really think I would need this thing. So we're just gonna set this back in the box for now. And if we open this other compartment here, we have, it looks to be our charger, so. This is, oh, it's a <laughs> USB-C, so if it'll focus, it probably won't, but yeah, it's a USB-C, so hopefully we get some fast charging from that. And then our new DualSense controller, so already this thing feels great in the hand, definitely, definitely a bit heavier than the DualShock 4 and DualShock 3, which I like. Um, so the um, analog sticks are the same as the DualShock 4, but they look to have some look like they have some kind of micro texturing on that. So that should definitely help. Um, then we have the okay. So these triggers are definitely softer than on the um, DualShock 4. That's something that I'm noticing. And um, we have. The, I'm assuming this is like the start and select button. I don't know. They pretty much ditch those exact buttons with the DualShock 4. So yeah, we have like the three lines with that and then looks to be, I don't know, like a sound or like a light kind of thing. I don't know. Then we have the D-pad. Oh, this thing's already starting up. The D-pad here and you can see the pretty lights and the main buttons. So Sony likes to call this the cross button. No, no. This is this is the X button, okay? If anyone out there wants to call this the cross button, you 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 need medical help. So yeah. Um what else we got? So okay, so this is um this is a microphone if you can kind of see it. If... Okay, you can kind of see it. And Mickey Mouse is playing. You can kind of see the microphone grill there. Um, we have the PS button, which isn't circular anymore. It's an actual PS logo. Okay, so this button right here, that's your mute button. And then we have what looks to be a microphone jack, headphone jack. You guys can kind of see that. So yeah, just all in all, this controller already feels pretty, pretty impressive to my liking. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that box though. Just because I, I like keeping, my, I like to keep my boxes. I don't like tossing them because while I don't plan on selling them, I will admit the first gen of PS4 I did sell to a friend, um, mainly because I got the PS4 Pro in 2016. So, all right, now we gotta open up. Now we gotta get to the get to the real star of the show. Hopefully, uh, I don't know how we should lift this thing out. Gotta, oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna get the box out of the way, set this on my lap, and then try to take these pieces out. So set these aside. Gotta get this thing out of its wrappings. 
Ooh. Oh man, I think that this unboxing has changed me from a boy into a man, to a real man. So, first of all, first observation, this thing is huge. I know it probably looks tiny on camera, but this thing, this thing is like the size of a TV. Like, that's how large this thing is. So if we just set it down without, without tipping it over, we adjust the camera so that you can see me. <laughs> like, look at this thing. This thing is massive. And yes, it does look like a router. A very, very bulky one. An ungodly sized one. So, yeah, um, this is the disc version, by the way. So we have our 4K uh, Blu-ray drive here. So you can watch 4K Blu-rays, which is nice. I wish the PS4 Pro did that, but fortunately it didn't. Um, so if we just look on the front, the first thing you're going to see is a USB 3 and a USB-C. Um, I don't know if they're gonna have any accessories that use USB-C aside from the um, controller, but at the same time, that's a USB-3 out and then a USB-C into the controller. And then we have what looks to be our eject button and then our power button. So it's nice that they have buttons because um, if you remember the original PS4, it just had like touch sensitive ones and they didn't always work. So if we flip this thing over, we have what looks to be the uh, Kensington lock right there. Um, now from what I've heard and seen, the hard drive in this thing is non-removable, so I'm guessing there's probably a PCIe SSD in here. I mean, I know it's custom made, um, but if that's the case, then it's probably just soldered to whatever. Um, so here we have our main ports so we have our power which is the same one that has been used for years now we have our hdmi 2 port right here um we have our ethernet i don't know if it's like a 10 gigabit thing um i'll maybe test that out at some point we have two usb 3s you can obviously tell they're usb 3s because they're blue um so yeah very minimal in the amount of ports which i like so yeah but just looking at the design of this thing it's it's it is a beautiful console i will admit I like the matte finish on this, whereas the center, it's it's just a gloss piano black. Pretty typical for Sony, for it to be very glossy. Um, I wish I could like protect this part with something, because that's gonna be a fingerprint magnet when you're trying to use the ports, possibly even scratch it. So that could be a potential worry. Um, but yeah, so that is the uh, PlayStation 5. So uh, yeah, that is basically the second take of my PS5 unboxing. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, take it easy everyone, stay beautiful.